Alright, welcome back. The infamous Omega weapon. Yeah, yeah. So, for this guy, go into the courtyard, use that green square, switch back to Irvine's party. Once you have their party, head to the right where we entered into the art room. And the Omega weapon. This video boss, I should say, is going to be split up into four separate videos. Three separate videos, actually, counting this one. And, um, man, I recorded so much useless footage because I was dying so much from this son of a bitch. Holy shit, this boss pissed me off in recording terms. So once you're here, stay in this room, don't go back through that door, and pull this kind of lever right here. And now you have 60 seconds, but it wastes 10 seconds watching this stupid fucking bow to beat Omega Weapon. No, no, not really, you don't have a minute to beat him. It takes like 30 minutes for me anyways. But run to the green square in that same room as quickly as possible. And when you have control of Squall's party, head inside. And there's Omega Weapon, Ultima Weapon's Big Brother. Now this guy, pain in the fucking ass. So, Omega Weapon is always level 100 in the PlayStation version, but in the PC version he can be any level. His HP range is from like 1 million. It's really high. Like 116 million or something. It's huge. His draws are Flare, Holy, Meteor, and Ultima. His status weaknesses are Vitality 0 and The End. So if you have Sophie and you have her Limit Break The End, you can kill him pretty quickly with that. So he first starts off by casting level 5 death, so make sure none of your characters are a multiple of 11, none of the le their levels are multiples of 5 is what I meant, because level 5 death kills anyone with a multiple of 5 level. So have them at, you know, odd numbers like 3 or something like that. Cast Aura on your party, but before you cast Meltdown on Omega Weapon, uh, cure anyone, anyone at all at any time. You don't want anyone below 9,999 because he has a hugely strong attack called um, Medigo Flame, which does exactly 9,998 damage right here. So the only two people that will survive this are Rhinoa and Zell because they have 9,999 HP. So after that, use, um, if you survived that, full life anyone that's been, uh, kind of killed from that. I know this has killed me a ton of times. So you're always going to want to have at least two characters in the 9,999 HP range. I took kind of a risk here when the Zell's um, limit break when I should have healed or resurrected by Noah. But when you go into Zell's limit break, just use the small ones like Circle and X. Just use the top um, button meshes because you can do a lot of damage in a short amount of time. Which is what I do. Um, his attacks are Meteor, Medigo Flame, Gravija, Terror Break, which is another pain in the ass attack, Ultima, and Light Pillar. Uh, Light Pillar automatically does 9,999 damage, so... That'll kill whoever he casts on it, no matter what. You can't stop that. 
After he uses Meteor, use a Mega Elixir. After he uses Medigo Flame, if you survive, you have three limit breaks for your characters, but I suggest healing up. After he uses Gravija, use Mega Elixirs because if you're in the 9,999 HP range like I am, your health will go down to 25,000. Or 2,500 is what I meant. 2,500. And that's another pain in the ass, so you want to heal up before he uses Terror Break after that. Which, he used Graviga on me, and then he used Terror Break right after, and it was bullshit. I should have beaten him, that was... Oh, uh, this boss pisses me off so much. So, after he uses Ultima, you'll also have probably three limit breaks, and which I also heal afterwards. So... If you remember, Gravija doesn't kill you, it only takes off 75% of your current HP. So heal up right after that, because if you have 1 HP and he uses Gravija on you, it of course it won't kill you. Now this is a long limit break because I'm only using the small attacks. But before you enter into this fight, make sure everyone has 9,999 HP, or else it's going to be a huge pain in the ass fighting this guy. Uh, you can probably do it, but I don't recommend it if you want to maybe, if you're looking for a reason to commit suicide, then you can do it. Otherwise, make sure everyone has 9,999 HP. Makes the fight a whole lot easier. Heal up anyone that needs it, get at least two people with the 9,000 mark. And yeah, I think I've pretty much explained everything for this boss that you need. Um, cast Meltdown on him first, gives Vitality down to zero. Um, cast Aura on your teammates, the guys, so that they can use their limit breaks to take him down way faster. Uh, with Zell's limit break, if you have him in your party, use the small options, the circle and the X and stuff like that. So that you can inflict more damage over the t time that you have. And yeah, there's gonna be two more videos of me fighting Omega because it just takes so goddamn long. Uh, whenever an aura runs out on one of your guys, just restock on aura or reuse aura on him. Or else, you know, you don't want to attack him with main attacks because that's just pain in the ass too. Since I had like holy junction to my attack and it healed him with squall, and I had tornado and that healed him too, so he can absorb a lot of magic. So you want to watch out for that as well. Uh, you get 250 HP for beating him. This is also always, I forgot to mention, the strongest boss in Final Fantasy VIII. He's a super boss, as one might call him, and he is a pain in the ass. So, yeah, just watch, stay tuned, watch my next two other videos to see how I beat him and how I turn out with him. Um, after this, actually, he uses Terror Break, I think, but I get scared because Zell's the only one with 9,000 HP, so I just use one of the heroes that I have on Squall. And recut with Squall, you can't use Aura on someone that has Hero, which I found out the hard way right here, so don't waste a turn with that. And Hero lasts a while as well, so that's pretty useful. Um, Aura doesn't last long with someone with haste like I have on Zell. And yeah, this is Terror Break, the pain in the ass attack I was talking about. Because it does like 4,000 damage to my fucking team, so... Thank god I put a hero on Squall. And I was flipping shit right here. 
and that's it. I'm running out of time, so yeah.